Hello, fellow Java developers. Welcome back to our starter course on Apache Camel. In this video, we will explore message mapping, which is core capability of any integration framework. Apache Camel has many ways to transform messages, but the most common are processors, bins, and transform DSL element. So today we will take a look at them. Let's begin. Today we will use a new Camel project that is very similar to what we've had in our previous videos. We have POMXML with just Camel core and login dependency. Our main class that creates and runs our Camel context and our route. This time there is no need to set up GMS broker as for demonstrating message transformation file component is enough. Our route reads file from this input directory, logs it and writes it to output directory with the same name. Now on to message mapping. The first approach we'll use is a process DSL element. As you remember from previous video, it takes a processor implementation, which only has one method process that can implement any logic we want, including transformation of our message. Also, as this interface has only one method, we can just replace it with lambda here in our route definition. So this is one of the easiest ways to modify our message programmatically. Inside this process method, you can extract your message body from the exchange and then transform it as needed. First, let's extract our body. Let's uh, declare it as object. And to extract it, first we need to extract our message with get message method. And then we need to extract a body from our message with getBody method. As our message is read by file component, it will have a generic file type. But we can specify here string.class and Camel will do transformation for us under the hood by extracting file contents and putting them into the string to see if any other component supports this kind of under the hood mapping, you should see its documentation. To transform our message body, let's just make it uppercase. Let's make an, another string object, call it transformed body and write body dot to uppercase. And finally, we need to write our new transformed body to our message. We extract message the same way we did for getting our body, but now instead of getting the body, we will set it with set body method to which we pass our transformed body. In general, all camel transformations with process DSL and processors follow the same sequence. First, we extract our body, headers, message properties, variables, all that we need. Then we use any Java logic we want to transform them in any way we want. And then we write them back to the exchange. Let's see how this works and run our route. Here we can see our input file. And as expected, here it is in uppercase. Now to more regular scenario. What if, for example, we don't need to uppercase our message, but need to transform a JSON like this. What we can do is right here in this process method, we can use any library that can parse our JSON string. For example, we can use Jackson XML. Let's add it to our POMXML. And when we edit it, we can go back to our route and create object mapper. Let's call it mapper 
and with the help of object mapper we can create object node but we need to use read value method and we need to read our body let's actually delete our transformed body because we don't need it anymore and to transform our json let's add a new field to it uh, let it have value for example new value and as jackson specification tells us to transform our object node back to string we will need to use uh, let's use to pretty string method and finally we need to make json file our input and let's also write to json file and now when we run our route we can see that here in our input json there is no new field but in our output json here it is it was added by our transformation but while this works this is actually wrong approach you see we will be creating new object mapper for each message that we process and we also have this parsing and then writing to string logic here in our process method while there is a way to let camel handle all of this and leave to us only transformation logic for that we will need to use unmarshal and marshal dsl elements as you can see we cannot use them as is we need to specify data format that we will unmarshal from and to which we will be doing our marshalling but specifying data format is still not enough because this is just the specification what we also need to do is to add an implementation for this data format and for jackson the dependency is org apache camel camel jackson and let's actually use our maven project property as a version and as you've probably guessed this camel jackson library actually uses faster xml json to parse messages so we don't need to add this dependency explicitly it will be brought by our camel data format dependency by the way camel has a lot of such data formats we will take a look at them shortly but for now let's download the dependency and return to our route what this unmarshalling and marshalling does is that it actually parses and then writes to string our message for us so instead of getting our body as string we can actually get it as object node and we don't need object mapper anymore and we also don't need to parse it by hand so we can just use our body and we don't need to convert to string ourselves so this looks a lot more cleaner now we can run our route and actually see that here is our json let's format it and we see our new field so it works the same but now we delegated the parsing and writing logic to camel and now we have only to transform our message body now onto the documentation as you can see camel has a lot of different data formats we were using json jackson but you can use any of this in the same way i will leave a link to this list of all available data formats in the description below let's go back to our route and sum things up we've used data format to parse our message to jackson object node we've transformed our message via 
process to which we provided our lambda and then we marshaled our message before writing it to the file. This sequence is very common for camel routes. At the start of our route we're unmarshalling our message, then we're doing what we need with it and before writing it to its destination we are marshalling it back again. Now on to using bins to transform our message. Let's just call it bin example route and let's read from another file and let's write to another file called bin and let's delete our processing logic and replace it with bin reference. Now, as you might remember from working with camel endpoints video, we need to bind bins to context before we can reference them in camel endpoints URI. And it works the same way here. First, we need to create our bin, then bind it to context, and then we can reference it in our route. Let's start with creating bin that is called my example mapper and let's create a method transform that will take exchange and uh, we actually don't need that rose exception and let's actually copy our transformation logic because it will be the same. And here we have our bin. And now we need to add it to camel context. Let's actually add our new route also. Here it is. And as you might remember from working with camel endpoints video to bind our bin to camel registry we need to get registry and then use method bind we need to specify our bin's name let's call it my transformer and provide our bin object and that's it we binded our bin and we can reference it in our route just like that what will actually happen here is that camel will see this my transformer name it will go to registry and get our bin it will then see that our bin has only one method that accepts exchange and camel will call this method automatically and provide the message exchange automatically because we don't have any other methods here yeah that sounds a bit like magic but we will look into bin method binding later. For now, just remember that if your bin has only one method and this method accepts exchange, camel will auto detect this method and will call it without the need to specify method name explicitly. Now let's create our input file processor example bin. It will be the same and let's run our route. And as we can see, it produces output similar to what we had previously as expected because our mapping logic is the same. So when to use bins and when to use process, you might ask. Well, usually process is used for simple processing that doesn't take many steps and bins are used for more complex logic. This is because bins are binded to our context, which by the way can look up bins in application context in case we're using Spring. And also as we see in later videos, bin method bindings might allow us to decouple our bin logic from camel dependencies. But for now, just remember that simple logic is better to put in process and 
more complex logic is better to be put in bins. Next, the last transforming feature we'll take a look at today is transform DSL element. Let's copy our route and call it transform example route and replace our bin call with transform DSL element. Let's also rename our input file. Let's call it transform example and the output will be the same transform example. Now what we can use in our transform DSL element is actually another DSL elements such as body and here we can use all the range of methods available. Usually people use this for simple transformation so let's try to use the regex and replace all our hello with by. But this is not the only way to use transform DSL element. What we can also do is to provide simple expression to do our transformation. We can for example add an XML tag to it. Let's call it request so that our message is now a valid XML. And here we will not be using JSON input messages. So let's delete our marshalling and unmarshalling. And our route is ready. As you can see, there is a lot of ways of using transform DSL element, but usually it is used for very simple transformations such as this, even simpler than those for which we would have used process DSL element. Now let's create our, uh, let's actually replace our file format because we will not be working with JSON and let's create our input file. It is called trans form example and let's add our transform route to our camel context and let's run our route. As we can see here it transformed our input message hello world to by world and then added XML tags so that the message became a valid XML. So this is how transform DSL element works. So to sum things up, transform DSL element is usually used for simple situations when we can use methods available with body DSL element or when simple language is enough. Processors are usually used when we need to have custom programmatic modification of our message. And finally, pins are used for more complex situations. Also, bin DSL element does method binding which allows us to not specify the exact method we're calling here. And with that, here's the end of our video on transforming messages with Apache Camel. Thanks for joining. Be sure to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. I will answer to all of those. See you in the next video. Until then, happy coding!